the choice between being right or being kind, what is the answer? Choose, Choose kind. kind. For the last couple of years, I have integrated a reading curriculum called Choose Kind with my fifth graders. And through this curriculum, we talk about characters in our novels that have physical and cognitive challenges. And he didn't choose to be brave, did he? No. And we are disappointed, but we also said that we need to listen to Jack's story, right? Because we're not sure why he made that decision, and we can't make a judgment, we can't make an assumption until we hear from his point of view. We discussed the need for empathy and compassion, and it has really made such a difference as I see them interact with each other, because I'll sometimes hear them say, are you choosing kind right now? You should always choose kind, even in like bad situations. You should always like try and help someone. I chose Wonder last year. It was the first year that I read it with my students because Augie is a 10-year-old just like them. He's going through very similar experiences, just in a different way. It has been really powerful to annotate with them, and so they are all write in their own books, and they write comments like, wow, or oh my goodness, or this is amazing. And I think it's going to be so special to them when they look back in their books five years from now, 10 years from now, and see what they were thinking as a 10-year-old and maybe evaluate how they have made a difference in the world today based on that. They have Choose Kind notebooks that we have purposely reserved only for thoughts, reflections, um, special articles, songs, any kind of um, discussion that would be something that they would want to keep forever. In our classroom, we have a quote that says, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. And I really like that quote because it is true. Everybody is fighting a hard battle. But what can she give him? What can she give him? Which we've talked about, like, what can I give Owen? What can she give him? Son like Owen is six and a half, and he is the light of my husband in my life. He is amazing, yes. um, but he does have special needs, Drink. and he has taken so a long good. time to reach many of his milestones, some which he has not yet, so he is nonverbal. He is able to walk. We've lost wow. two front teeth learning how to walk, but that might be what a lot of parents go yeah. through. But what can she give him? Hope. Hope. Good. Call in someone else. I'd like to hear from Stella. Love. Love. All of these things I give to Owen as well. Hope. Love. Go ahead. Um, give. Advice. Advice. Right? This I've um, in introduced season. Owen every year to my students because one of the important things I think a teacher can bring to her students is to form a special relationship with them. And Owen is a really important part of my life, and so this was a story that I felt was necessary to share with them. Okay, this story about Owen um, made me learn that um, kids with disabilities, they never ask to have disabilities, that you shouldn't treat them differently, look at them the same way, even though they might be a little bit different, you still have to help them through it. You should not judge someone by the way they look, but you because they can't control that, but you should see how they are on the inside, because that's what really matters. Kindness can go in a circle, it can come back to you. Just one act of kindness, yeah. right? You have this ripple effect, it can yeah. always come back to you. So it's always worth it, correct? Right. Right, I think great. it has helped me to know that there is a generation of 10 year olds that I am raising that are going to be um, people who make a difference. That they are going to take care of Owen when I can't. That they're going to defend kids that are similar to Owen when I'm not there. That I can depend on them to be his friend. Look at you! Let's go! Good job!